Well, greetings. Uh, this video is an attempt to show you how I've got my antenna arranged here. This antenna covers 166 meters with virtually no tuning and it works on every band. First of all, what we have is a uh, in-fed half-wave transformer here. Now these are being sold by a company called My Antennas. This uh, could be the My Antennas EFW8010. It covers 80 through 10 meters. Uh, MFJ also sells one similar to this, and there's a lot of people home brewing these. It has a 130 foot wire, and that can be arranged in many different ways. And um, as you can see over here, this is a home brew version, and this one's kind of extra heavy duty. But uh, here's my wire coming out to the antenna, and this goes up uh, about 55 feet, and then the rest of it goes horizontal. And down here on the bottom, you can see the coax connector right here, and we have a very short piece of coax. Uh, about a foot long going over to this little box here. This box has a relay and that's all that's in it. It's a double pole, double throw, 12 volt coil relay. And what that does is bypass, it bypasses this and runs the uh, signal from my shack, pardon the airplane, directly to the antenna. Now when you do that, the antenna becomes, on 160 meters, a quarter wave inverted L, which is a very popular antenna, and of course it's going to have a very low SWR on 160. As it turns out, it also has a low SWR on 60 meters, which is the third harmonic, and then it also has a low SWR on 6 meters which I believe is about the 28th harmonic or so. So that takes care of all the bands. This alone will cover 80 through 10 and everything in between with the exception of 60 meters. And of course it won't work on 160. Again, you have to have a high impedance antenna connected here. But we're bypassing it with this relay. And so this is how we do it. This little diagram shows, here's your uh, transformer, the EFHW transformer with a 49 to 1 ratio. There's your coax, sorry for the wind, uh, coax input down here. And be sure that you do not ground this thing at all. The ground must come on the other side of the relay over here. So your, uh, your coax from the shack is grounded uh, at all times and the ground is switched so what you're really doing here is you're disconnecting the ground from this over here and then feeding your RF up through here over to your antenna and um, I know it looks like it's connected here but it is at all times and that doesn't hurt anything it just acts like a, a piece of metal or something the transformer in here and the little piece of coax and all that is all connected but it doesn't go anywhere when we activate the power those two uh, switch contacts flop up and that uh, what that does is disconnect the uh, the ground here so this this floats and then it also sends the coax's center conductor up to the antenna output here on our relay box. Let's take a look here at the relay box. Um, here's our coax from the shack coming in. This is our ground wire uh, going to this big lug here. And then this is the output going over here to our, uh, to our uh, in-fed half-wave matchbox. And this is the 12-volt uh, power source. This goes to my shack at the desk. And then up here is the little 
jumper wire between the two units. So this actually goes directly to the antenna. So when I, when I want to operate on 6 meters or 60 or 160, I simply apply power and the relay flops up, disconnects the ground down here, and I'm in business. So now I've got a low SWR on any HF band plus 6 meters. Really neat system. My ground system, and I might add that you, if you do operate this like this on 160, uh, you will need a decent ground. You can't, uh, you don't want to try to rely on your coax for a ground. You can get by with that just fine with the uh, 80 through 10, but not on 160. And same goes for 60 and 6 meters. You need some kind of ground. So we've got an 8-foot ground rod. We've got uh, uh, chicken wire down here connected. Uh, this goes all the way across the yard over to the other fence over there, and it's tied into that fence. So I've got both sides of the yard tied into the fence with this chicken wire, and it goes back behind me another 30 feet or so. So it's a pretty good ground and works quite well on 160. And I've also had quite a few contacts on, on 60. Can't find anybody on 6 meters. Heard a beacon last night, pretty strong. But um, there just isn't much activity because the band is pretty well shot. So, hope you all can read this. Um, the relay, any relay that's uh, a big one will work. You don't want to use a little bitty relay. Um, and uh, you can actually use a 110 volt relay and run it on 12, oh maybe 18 volts or so DC. So there you go. Thanks for watching.